Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, welcome to the new year. This is the second video, I think, of this year, uh, and I've got plenty more coming, so I hope you guys are all subscribed and enjoying the new content. Uh, in today's Two Minute Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys a few tools to help make uh, working with layers easier and help you manage your layers a little bit better. If you guys stick around till the end of the video, uh, I'm going to introduce a new series of blog posts and videos that are coming to Cat Intentions uh, on the website and on the YouTube channel uh, regarding reviewing CAD tech and design tech. Uh, it's pretty cool, and I hope you guys will stick around to check it out. Let's get started. All right, so to start off, I'm going to show you guys where a bunch of these tools are all located. There are text commands to go with each one. Uh, and like I said, these are going to help speed up how you work with layers and managing the layers of your objects. Uh, so if you look to the top here on the Home tab, you can see under the Layers box, there are quite a few different options and a lot of people don't really use these. So I'm going to kind of show you what a few of them do uh, and how they can save you time. So the first button is the Make Current. Uh, and this is a super useful one that I usually add to a custom toolbar that I can drag around and keep near where I'm working. Uh, and I suggest you guys do that too. I've got a video on how to make those or you can just look up making custom toolbars. It's pretty quick and easy. But to, uh, to see how this works, let's uh, select it. We're going to select Make Current and you're going to choose an object and it's going to simply make that the current layer. You can see up here, steel beam is now the current layer instead of layer zero, uh, because that's what layer this green line here is on. Then you can choose that again to change up your layer another time. Now it's on the ceiling layer. So this is a quick and easy way to get to the layer that you need right away. Uh, another cool option is to use this little drop down here to see a few other tools. And one that I use a lot is change to current layer. Uh, so if I want to say add this line to the ceiling layer, rather than select it and go through the drop downs, you can simply hit this and then the green check mark and it's going to change it automatically to the ceiling layer. So you can see it changed to blue or cyan and it's no longer green and on the steel layer. Both of these can save you a ton of time when working with a lot of layers in a drawing and just make you more productive uh, when you're creating new drawings and line work. Uh, another useful tool is the match layer and this is going to let you choose an object and then when you hit enter you're going to be able to match this object to another uh, layer. So maybe I want to move it to the wall layer over here. You can see that it's changed to white now and you can always hit you can always hit undo to, to go back to the way you were. So another tool that can come in handy is the layer walk tool. And that's on the drop down here and you can just hit layer walk and it's gonna let you walk through all of the layers in your drawing. So you can use the arrow keys or just click through and you're gonna be able to see what's on each layer. This gives you an idea of if something's on the wrong layer, if you have too many things or things on multiple layers. It also helps you clean up any layers that you don't want uh, or just better organize things. Once you're done with that, if there's any layers you want to get rid of, you can come down here and use the delete and it's going to delete all the objects and get rid of the layer. So I'll just demo that right here. Select our delete and we're just going to delete that green layer and you can see it got rid of all of the stairs. I'm going to undo that and bring it back. Uh, but that's how you can delete entire layers and clean up your drawing. One last tool is the merge layers tool. And I've talked about this in a previous video, but you can easily merge two layers into a single layer or into another layer. Uh, this can help you tidy up your drawing, better organize things, consolidate layers. Um, it can definitely save you some time. So let's say I want to merge this white layer here, which is wall studs into my wall drywall layer. You probably wouldn't want to normally do that. 
Uh, but for the example, we're going to choose our drywall layer. And then we're going to hit enter. And then you're going to select your target layer. And you can see that we've now merged our drywall layer into our stud layer. So the, the drywall that was blue is all now on the white stud layer. Again, I'm going to say no here to end that uh, because I don't want to do that. In your case, you may want to merge to clean up or organize your drawings. So that's it for today's Two Minute Tuesday. Uh, and like I mentioned at the start, I just wanted to let you guys know about a new series that I've got coming out on uh, the website as well as the YouTube channel. Uh, and it's called Coffee Break. So I hope you enjoyed that little tease of the, uh, the intro for the new series. The series is going to focus on tech and kind of gear reviews and showcases, uh, all kind of products in the design engineering CAD, um, industry. Uh, and I hope you guys like it. The first one will be live today and I'm going to post a link below and I'll put a card up above. It's over on my blog and in it I uh, review and go over the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga laptop. It's a really cool kind of ultra portable two-in-one uh, tablet laptop uh, that I think is perfect for engineers, designers, creatives, anybody that has a use uh, for a super portable laptop that still has enough power to run basic AutoCAD, uh, Sketchbook, Photoshop. Uh, any of those kind of software. So if you're an architect, uh, landscape designer, engineer, someone that isn't modeling heavy duty in AutoCAD, but still needs to use drawings and do markups, I really enjoyed this laptop and highly recommend it for anybody in those uh, fields. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check out the post. Leave a comment on the post if you did or below and uh, I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have more of those videos coming out, uh, including a laptop, uh, the Star Wars Jedi challenges, uh, a monitor, notebooks, tons more stuff. So thanks again and cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.